Hey there, sassy people. Welcome back to Mature Sass. Today, in this sassy style session, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna talk about how we can style leather. Mm -hmm. Now, usually when you say leather, people get this image in their mind, vroom, vroom, biker chick, right? No, not necessarily. I'm gonna show you how this girl sasses her leather up. If you're interested, key right on watching. denim styling session that I did I do have quite a few pieces of leather and faux leather as well so I thought what I would do is I'm gonna break it up into two categories I'm gonna do faux leather and also my genuine leather pieces and I want to just put a little disclaimer out there at the beginning when I say that I'm dressing certain leather pieces more age appropriately please know disclaimer I'm only talking about me. I'm talking about me being a woman over 60. There are certain ways that I embrace this trend, but I think as a more mature lady, I kind of um, dress it a certain way. So if you're in your 60s also, or 70s, 80s, and you rock your leather mini skirts and your skin tight leather pants, I applaud you. I'm just saying that's not my particular style. That's all I'm saying, okay? Are we cool? Let's get going. Okay, first thing off the bat, we're gonna start with what I'm wearing. I found this tunic length top at Ross, believe it or not, and I'm thinking it was something like 11 bucks. It's long, it's a tunic length, has the chiffon part down here at the bottom, and then, here's the showstopper. Here are my coated faux leather jeans. Yes, I love these. I'm going to bring you a little closer in just a second. But I wanted to tell you, in case you're not all the way able to see completely down, these are going to be the booties that I have on throughout most of the try-on. You remember I told you it's kind of difficult for me to find a wide um, width shoe. I got these kind of um, Western inspired looking um, booties from Naturalizer. Naturalizer carries a wide width. And I wanted genuine leather, so that's why. And then I found these at Dillard's, the regular Dillard's, but I'm sure the clearance center would probably have um, some similar. I can wear a Chelsea booty because it has this panel that's elasticized on both sides. And if you're interested, I'm gonna show you a real easy way to slip into these. Um, my sp speech therapist, my physical therapist when I had knee surgery last year told me about a little gadget to get off Amazon. Ladies, these boots slide right on. Uh, that's another thing. <laughs> for another video if you want but anyway I'm going to bring you down a little and let's see if you can see the pants yeah this makes me feel really really kind of hip and young and youthful I love these pants I found these uh, leather coated jeans at Lane Bryant last year. So, bring you back up. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Don't wanna tip you over. So, tell me what you think about this. Now, if I wanted to leave this on, but then go out like for an evening look, let me show you how just an accessory change is gonna make a difference. Okay, now if I was still going to just keep this on and then just kind of sass it up for going out for the evening, I would just change the accessories. I would just put on this lariat necklace with the pearls that I love so much. Got that from Steinmart and the earrings. And then just throw in a little bit of pearls here. And I'm set for the night. What do you think? Vroom, vroom. Oh yeah, I definitely get motorcycle vibes when I'm wearing this one. <laughs> this is still 
still those faux leather coated jeans. And then I have this uh, faux leather jacket that I found at Steinmark. Probably, oh my God, I've had this like maybe three, four years now. So that just tells you these moto stack it, moto jacket styles are not going anywhere. Let me get a little closer. I put this look on with my Baker Boy cap, some fun flirty gold hoops. And if you see, this is one of those quilted faux leather jackets. I love this. All right, guys, what do you think? I love this look. It's fun. I get to be youthful in this outfit. <laughs> okay, this next faux leather um, outfit is even appropriate for work, in my opinion. Do you remember that um, Melissa McCarthy pencil skirt that I told you about? It's in this faux suede kind of leather. Uh, it kind of has a suede look to it, but it's actually faux leather. Put it with this faux leather bomber jacket by Raffaella. Um, got it from Belk. And I'll list all of this information in the description bar below. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find it because I've had these things a little bit. But ladies, you young ladies who are subscribers, girls, you got me doing a front tuck. Okay. <laughs> this is what just a little tank and it's longer because I just tucked it in the front but I think this is totally appropriate for the office it's a pencil skirt just put it with some little heels and uh, you're ready to go I love this jacket it really has a feel of um, genuine leather has these pretty gold uh, studs on it gold zippers and hardware what you guys think? Can you see the skirt? It's got that faux leather to it. Sorry, I just saw a cat dart by. I always have a little visitor on my patio. <laughs> Next. Okay, guys, here's another look that I totally think is business appropriate. Do you remember those wide leg pants that I got from Lane Bryant not too long ago? I would totally take these gray pants, put it with this pink uh, bomber jacket, and I just happen to have a pink and gray scarf. So I think that that would just go beautifully. I didn't change my tank because I was too lazy, but you can just put your gray tank on also. Okay, what do you think? Okay, guys, you remember the other day when I did a haul, I told you I was going to really need your help on this one. Usually, I just buy what I like, and I don't really ask anybody's opinion. I just wear it. This, for some reason, I don't know, I'm like kind of iffy. These are those faux leather leggings. Yeah, leggings. But they're only faux in the front, and then they have the knit in the back. Let me show you. Yep, these are the ones from uh, Jessica London, and this is the way that I would probably style it. And uh, I don't know, I feel comfortable in them. I'm just not sure how they look, so I know you guys will tell me the truth. They're like a ponty knit in the back. And I would style them with this boyfriend blazer that I got from... HSN. This is Diane Gelman, if anybody's interested. But, um, I don't know. They feel cute. You guys tell me what you think. <laughs> I think this boyfriend blazer is long enough that it makes it, you know, kind of appropriate. Anyway, let me know what you think. Next look. Okay, this next little look. Um, when I want it to feel very girly at work, I would always wear this little uh, cropped cardigan and I would just leave it unbuttoned down here. This is a skirt from Ralph Lauren that I found a few years ago at Dillard's Clarence Center. It kind of 
loose and flowy. It's that um, it's a faux leather, but it's a real spine pleated skirt. I love this. It's very pretty, very elegant. And yes, I wore it to school. <laughs> I have to tell you something really funny. I used to always get teased because they would say, you can tell the little girls that are in Miss Roy's class because they all have their little jewelry on and their little purses with them, whatever. And that's only partly true. Um, you know, I did have some very girly girls, but if kids were not girly girls and they were like more on the tomboy side, they would just look at us like whatever. And it was all good. Hey, I have to tell my girls how to conduct themselves like a lady, right? <laughs> <laughs> and if I was taking this after work, and I would just change the pearls. Let me show you. Okay, and this is just how I would change it up for evening. I found this really pretty pearl and kind of like little faux uh, crystal set one year at the Southern Women Show. And I love that. Let me see if I can move this down. Where you can actually see this skirt. See, it's pleated. It's like a faux leather. And girls, you got me doing a little front tuck thing here. <laughs> well, I'm going to cut this off for the faux leather trend right now because I know you guys are probably like, hold on, let me steady you. I know you guys are probably like, okay, didn't she say she was going to do faux leather and genuine leather? Yes, she did. And I know. I'm just going to cut it off here for the faux leather. I know you're probably saying, she's got a bunch of crap. <laughs> In my defense, yes, I do have a lot of things. But remember, I worked for 36 years. That's why I just bargain shop because I don't really need a thing. <laughs> Anyway, here's some genuine leather pieces and how I would style them. I'm going to limit it to just maybe like three or four looks. All right, here we go. Okay, guys, this is um, a leather jacket that I got last year from Macy's. This was like my Christmas present to myself. It's from Ralph Lauren. It uh, comes all the way up to the neck. I just kind of leave it open even though it does zip up the front. Now, here's what I told you guys I was going to need your help with. If you see, I stuck the tag on it. Remember the other day in my haul from Jessica London, I told you I bought a, um, a leather skirt? I don't know. What do you guys think? I wouldn't necessarily wear this as a suit. I just put it on like this to show you. But, um, and I would probably wear it with black tights. I just wasn't putting tights on, guys. Sorry, it's too hot in here. <laughs> but um, this is the way that I would probably wear this skirt with like a black sweater, a scarf, and my black tights. What do you think about the skirt? Mm. I like it. I have to think about it. <laughs> All right, next look. Okay, these last few pieces, I'm just going to leave on this black tank and my jeans because um, you've seen them all anyway in other videos. First, this is that navy blue leather jacket by Amon. Remember I told you from HSN. Now, this is kind of only partly leather. Let me show you what she's done. Do you see how she's inserted this kind of ponty knit here, panel in the sides and on, under the arm. I actually love that because it gives you so much more flexibility. I can drive in this jacket. I love it. Okay, so that's that one. Next up. All right, this was that light blue blazer from Jessica London. And uh, again, I would pair it with jeans. The only thing I would probably do differently is if it was getting colder out. I love putting it with this um, uh, scarf that has lots of that pretty blue in it and the gray. I love that together. What do you think? All right, next look. Okay, you guys remember that uh, kind of butterscotch color 
more on, kind of a tan color from Jessica London, that bomber jacket that you've seen a million times in videos. I would just wear this with jeans also. Next, one of my hats. I love accessories. But anyway, this is a uh, leather jacket also from Jessica London. You know what, I'm serious. They really do need to sponsor my videos. <laughs> but anyway, this is in a burgundy. And uh, if it's a cooler day, I like taking my burgundy shawl and just kind of tossing it around. And uh, that makes a whole look. I'm thinking that that light blue scarf has some kind of wool in it because my eyes are on fire now. I have to go back and look. Whew. Okay, guys, that's going to end it for whew, how to style leather. <laughs> this has been a long, sassy style session, but I hope you got some kind of inspiration from it. But and before you leave, please make sure if you did like this content, give me a thumbs up. Also, please make sure that you hit the subscription button down below. Tap the notification bell so you will be up notified when I upload next. And as always, guys, I love you for tuning in, sticking with me. Oh, I wanted to say also, I have like 78 subscribers, so I am getting so close to 100. Now, I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous to most people, especially you guys that have thousands and hundred thousands of subscribers, but I am just so thrilled that I'm going to do a giveaway when I reach 100. So come on, share this video. I need just 22 more. I want to do a giveaway. It's going to be a good one. So until next time, make sure that you always keep it sassy. Thanks, guys. See you next time.